So in this video I want to add a bit more detail to this scene, um, just a little bit more nature really. So I've took some textures, I've got a burrow texture, so it's just basically some soil with a black hole in the middle which I've done in Photoshop guys, just use a brush and I've got a soil, so basically this one but without the uh, black bit in the middle. So we're going to use this as a uh, texture map. So as a side note, I've been doing a bit of research on burrows and believe it or not, bees do it as well. So <laughs> and look at the patterns they make. So a uh, bit of inspiration there guys, looks kind of weird, mm, but very interesting. So in Maya, all we need to do is get a cylinder, go into a face, select all these and um, extrude them out. I'm just going to make a burrow shape really, so uh, that one can stay like that. Let's just do it again, so extrude. Bring it down a bit. Okay, let's do it again. Very simple shape, just making a kind of a burrow kind of thing. So, a bit more. One more time. Okay, so. Alright, that'll do. Alright, so we don't need any of these faces, so. Uh, let's hide the grid to start with. Um, select all these. Hold B, guys, and drag up. Left click to get a bigger brush. Um, we don't need any of these faces anymore. These are going to stick into the ground, so not needed. Okay, so um, let's stay in this mode. Select these faces. Let's just put them down a bit, shall we? So, okay, that'd do. I think. I think that's a bit too small the hole. So, what we could do? Go into our brush again. Get these. Get these. And um, make it a bit bigger. Alright, so it looks like an insect's popping gonna pop out of it, so <laughs> looks pretty cool. And if we go to an object, guys, let's move out all the normals so it looks a bit more natural. So let's try soften edge. Um, yeah, that'd do, I think that'd do. And uh, to apply a texture, all we need to do assign new material. So we're gonna dive into our Unity project. Um, Alright, let's delete the history first. There it is. Let's go into our files and borrow. That's the one. Very, very simple to do, guys. Just go into your top view and uh, create UVs. Create UVs based on the camera. So let's press this button here and uh, job done. So that's our borrow. We could edit, edit it out a little bit. Um, could select this ring, bring it out a bit more. Yeah, that do. <laughs> and that's our burrow, guys. Simple as that. Um, don't want to spend too long on this. Export the selection. Overwrite it in my project. And uh, let's put it in the scene if we can find it. Okay, it's very small, so. Get our grid out. Um, go to your settings. Change this to meters. Save. Make it a bit bigger. That do. So let's try again. I'd rather uh, change the scale in Maya, guys, than Unity. Saves a lot of headache. Okay, so that's a bit better. So let's put a burrow somewhere on this mountain. Uh, just line it up a bit more. Okay, it's going inside the mountain now. So let's rotate it a bit. We could always change the uh, scale a bit in here. So okay, just put it into place. Make it a bit bigger. Rotate it a bit more. 
All right, I think we need to move these up a bit. So back in a face. Just a quick video to show you guys how to add very easy detail to your scenes. Um, export uh, burrow. Yes, I want to save it. And boom, there we go. So the, the uh, insect or whatever it is is going to jump out of this burrow. And because this is a game, it's not real life. It can be anything you want. It can be a giant insect if you want, guys. So let's just go into our mountain range terrain. I'm actually going to put terrain before that, so I know it's a terrain. Get our brush out. Let's add a texture. Soil. Add. Let's make some soil around this. Da -da -da. Change the opacity and target strength a little bit. Okay, that bit too much. Let's just lower the strength. Okay. So whatever comes out, it's got to run down the mountain as well. So I think it'd be nice if the grass was missing a little bit here to show that it's been worn out. Let's make the brush a bit bigger. Okay, we can use this one a bit maybe. A bit lower. Okay. Let's use our soil one more time to make it a little bit darker around the burrow. That's a bit too dark. Put these down a bit. Okay. It's got to fade out a bit, I think. So. And uh, simple as that, guys. So if we just put it in a little bit more, make it a bit bigger, but make it a bit thinner, I think. Rotate, bring it out a little bit. All right, that's quite nice. We could um, rotate it a bit more, so none of it's intersecting with the terrain. Um, we could make it a bit better around here, back in the terrain. Let's use this one, make our brush a bit smaller. Let's change the opacity and target strength a bit more. All right. Now we're getting somewhere, so. Tiny, tiny bit of this. And it's as simple as that. So now we've got a little burrow. Whoops. Um, so in the future, guys, we can add, we can make a little insect pop out or something like that, which would be pretty cool. So if we play the game now, yeah, it just adds a nice bit of detail. Um, in the next video, I'll make another one, put it around here, maybe. Don't want to do it again to bore you guys to death, but um, very simple to do. Is there anything we can do to make it better? Okay, let's just change this color to a little bit of a brown, maybe. So it blends in a bit more. Okay, that do. All right, so that's our little burrow, guys. Um, do we want it to cast to see what we don't want it to receive shadows? Yeah, I think it can stay casting shadows. So, uh, and that is that for this video. So I'll probably put a few more around the scene before I move on. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, I can't stress how important it is to use your own images and. Uh, do a lot of research to make detail in your scenes because as long as it's valid, um, as long as it makes sense and um, you know stuff like that, it'll be very effective. So thanks for watching the video, guys. See you in the next video.